Let's turn our Jetson AGX ORIN over so that we can install the SSD. Let's take a look at the M.2 key M slot. This is for a 2280 card. Here's the retaining screw, and here's the connector. This is a PCIe slot. The edge connector on the card should look like this. It's Jim from JetsonHacks.com. Let's get to work. First, we remove the retaining screw. There's a little bit of blue thread locker on it. You may have to persuade it a little bit. Next, let's get our card. It is a Western Digital WD Black 1 terabyte. Insert the card into the M.2 connector. It's easiest at about a 45 degree angle. Make sure that the card seats in all the way. Then, reinstall the retaining screw. Installation complete. Top view. In a world where the extraordinary seems mundane, we modify our AGX Orin to stand out. Using precision instruments, we place googly eyes with near micrometer precision. Get on there, you little pig dog. Now it is truly something special. We can use the drive in a few different ways. The first way is to use the drive as external storage. Let's open up the Disks application. We select our new one terabyte of goodness, then click the Kebab menu, Format Disk. Make sure that we have selected GPT and then Format. Are you sure you want to format the disk? Yes, please. Password. Now hit the plus button to add a partition. Set the partition size to your liking, then hit next. Then give it a volume name. It should be clever and insightful. Make sure that you have it set up for Linux systems, ext4. Then hit the create button. The system creates the file system. Click the arrow button, and the drive shows up in the sidebar. If we go back to the settings menu, we can edit the mount options. By turning the user session defaults off, we can have the drive mounted system start up. Make sure to hit OK to save your options. We can also benchmark the drive. We select Benchmark Disk. Let's start Benchmark. The disk is empty. Let's do a Perform Write Benchmark. Then we click Start Benchmarking. Password. The average read rate, 3.5 gigabytes per second, and the average write rate, 3.6 GBs per second. That's about half the rated spec of the drive. Looks like I'll have to do some fine tuning. Let's see how fast the internal EMMC is. Let's get to the benchmark part. The EMMC has the system on it. We'll only check the reads. Now we see the average read rate is 257 megabytes per second, which is what you expect. The SSD should be about an order of magnitude faster. That's why SSDs have a great and glorious purpose. The disk usage tool shows our new friend. Because the SSD is fast, you may want to use it as a boot drive. One way to do this is to use the SDK manager. You will need a Linux PC to run it. I will leave a link in the description below on how to use the SDK Manager. I've set the Orin into force recovery mode, as we can see here. Let's skip ahead to the important part. I prefer to do manual setup before flashing. I switch automatic setup to manual setup. For the purposes of our discussion, we are only interested in setting the storage device. Set it to NVMe, then hit the flash button. Installation complete. After going through the setup process, we run our old friend JTOP. We can see that our disk is using 15.9 GBs of 914 GBs. Let's open up our home folder, go down to other locations, and we can see that our SSD is now our root drive. Another good day.